What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a realistic sketch illustration of a baboon. Now we're gonna begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the balance and symmetry of our drawing. I'm gonna start off with my 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page from the very top. It's gonna to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now I don't wanna to go too dark because I'm gonna eventually wanna erase this out. Let's go up to the top and add another line going across from left to right. Now I'm gonna place the brow along the center line. So in the middle, let's leave a gap. Let's go over towards the left side, just underneath the line, sketch a circle going around towards the bottom and then back up for the eye. Now I wanna measure that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. From the outside of the eyes, let's curve the cheeks. We're gonna come down and then bend that in towards the middle, go across and then up towards the right. Now directly underneath each eye, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Now the muzzle gets wider as it comes down towards the bottom. So let's start on top left. I'm just gonna bend this down and then out to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Now from here on the left, we're just gonna round this out, pull this in towards the center of our page, go all the way around and up towards the right. Along the bottom, let's draw a straight line going across for the mouth. And then we'll move up on either side, draw a small oval for the nostrils. Let's go back underneath the cheekbones, curve this down and then in towards the side of the muzzle. Now from the left side of the cheek, we're just gonna go all the way out towards the side of the head. So right about here, it's gonna mark this off. Let's measure that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now I want to connect the ends with a curve, going up towards the top of the head, go across, and then back down. Let's go back out to the side of the cheeks. We're just going to angle this up and out towards the side of the head. Let's go back down to the side. We're just going to angle the head, going down and then out to right about there. I'm just going to curve the head, coming down, and just pull that up underneath the chin. Now at this point, we're gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Get a better look at our proportions. And now we're gonna use a rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shape. I'm gonna start with the top edge of the brow. I'm just gonna overlap the top of the eye and then bend that down on the inside. I'm just gonna lightly work our way across towards the right. Add a light fold in between the brow. Add some wrinkles in between. I'm just going to pull the eyelid coming down and in towards the inside. Just going back out towards the outside of the eye. Add a small dot in the center for the pupils. From here, we're just going to work our way out around the eye, just adding some folds and wrinkles. Now I'm just going to blend that fur along the side of the head, coming in towards the cheeks. And then the brow, I'm just going to bend this out and then up towards the side. Just adding a little bit of fur, these little points going up and then out around the side. a slight bend towards the bottom. Now with the nostrils, I'm just going to curve the top and then blend that down. And I'm just going to darken up the top of the nostril and then fade that down. I'm 
I'm just gonna add some points of fur going across the brow along the bottom edge and just work my way up and out across the top of the eye. So essentially we're just adding a shadow of fur across the bottom of the brow. And then for the side of the muzzle, we're gonna do the same thing, just pulling this up and then out, adding a dark shadow and just working our way out towards that guy that we created at the beginning. Now as we come down toward the ball, I'm just gonna bend this out and then down. Now we work our way from the outside of the head, coming down and then in. Just adding these little points of fur. Just gonna darken up the edge. Going up towards the middle. I'm just gonna add a little point on the top of the head in the middle and come down towards the right. Now from this line, we're just going to bend the hair going down and then out. So bending this around the side of the head, going a little bit darker. And just working our way across the bottom of the head, coming in and up. Now let's go back and just darken up our contrast. Starting with the outside of the eyes. I'm just going to darken up the outside. I'm just going to switch to a thicker pencil and add some shading across the top of the eye and just fade that down towards the glare. Now the brow is going to cast a shadow across the top of the head going around the eyes and we'll fade that down. Now you can pull some of that fur going out. Just blending this out along the side and also across the bottom edge of the brow, just softening that up. Just enhance that fur along the side of the cheek. Just gonna soften up the edge. Now let's move back up to the top of the head. I'm just gonna pull that fur coming down and then in. I'm just gonna soften that up along the edge. I'm just gonna work our way along this side.
Just gonna continue to darken up that fur just on the outside of the muzzle. And then go back and just add a light glare along the outside of the muzzle. Just going to soften up the chin with a little bit of fur texture off the bottom. Just adding a little bit of texture just underneath the mouth. Just pulling the lines coming down. Now I'm just going to go back and just add some layers of fur along the top of the head. To start with these short lines. It's going to leave a little bit of a gap in between each row. Now we're just going to blend this in. And we're going to do a similar thing along the outside of the head. Just pulling these little rows coming in towards the side and just working with the flow of the fur. So just following this in and then down. And now we're just going to go in and just layer some darker areas on top. Now going back and just layering in some fine details. So we're going to start above the eyes with the brow.
Now, as we get near the end, I'll continue to refine the transition between the fur and always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a baboon. Now, I encourage you to continue to practice your fur rendering techniques. Now, with anything, the more you practice, the better you'll get. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.